104.5 the team 104.5 the team.com on the phone right now jake fishman union college baseball star jake looking at your numbers hitting 458 this year and oh by the way 2-0 and on the mound with a zero era in 19 innings that comes on the heels of two phenomenal years prior to these sound like numbers for someone at texas at florida state at cal state fullerton how did you end up at union um yeah so uh you know coming out of high school uh I was kind of a small kid, uh, you know, so I was a late bloomer. And uh, I was only looking at uh, Division three schools. Uh, you know, no, no D1 schools looked at me. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I got to college and just started putting in a lot of hard work and got a lot bigger and stronger. Uh, and then, you know, it just kind of all fell into, into place. Now, you're a lefty pitcher, lefty stick as well. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot on this because I played at Oswego, so I played Division Three as well, and I played against uh, a number of kids who got drafted, kids from Cortland, kids from Ithaca, kids from Oneonta. Has anyone talked to you about maybe being at the ne- being a next-level prospect? Uh, yeah, there's been a, a couple teams that are following me, a uh, couple, couple people that have been at my games this year, so uh, pretty exciting. Do you identify more with being a pitcher or with being a position player and a hitter? Uh, definitely being a pitcher. Is that just because that's the easiest way to make it to the next level, or you prefer pitching uh, as a whole? Uh, I I prefer pitching. Uh, that's really where where all my work goes into, uh, and then you know the hitting uh, it just kind of happens on its own. I but you know. Was one of the things that attracted you to Union the ability to do both things? Because when I played at Oswego, we we had nobody who who pitched and played the field. When I, I coached for the last two years at Hudson Valley uh, Community College, and it was rare that we had anybody do both. Did Union attract you because they were going to give you the chance to play both ways? Yeah, that was definitely one of the aspects that that brought me here, uh, being able to, to do both and have have that opportunity. So what are you working with on the mound mainly? Your left-handed arm, that always helps. Are you working with off velocity? Are you working off movement and deception? Where have you had your success on the mound this year? You know, my, my fastball uh, is usually in the upper 80s, uh, so that helps. Uh, and it does have a lot of tail to it, uh, so that kind of uh, throws hitters off. But I think uh, I have like a really uh, deceptive motion. So uh, hitters have a, a hard time picking up the ball coming out of my hand, which has been uh, very helpful. And then, um, you know, I have uh, fastball, changeup, curveball, knuckleball. Knuckleball? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like that you feature prominently or like I'm going to throw it once out of every 50 pitches just to keep a hitter off balance? Um, I'll usually throw it like four or five times a game. Wow. Yeah. Jake Fishman, Union College baseball player with us, 104.5 The Team, 104.5theteam.com. Dutchman 12-4, and 7-1 and one in Liberty, Liberty League play, taking on University of Rochester this weekend. What's been the key to your guys' team success this year? Um, you know, last year was kind of an off year, and I think the biggest difference is uh, we're a lot more mature and our team has a lot more chemistry together this year. How's the the Liberty League continued to grow as a whole? Because Liberty League has always been a strong league. You guys made the NCAA tournament two years ago. RPI made the tournament last year, made a long run uh, in the tournament. So the Liberty League as a whole continues to be very strong. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I you know I feel like every year it's, it it keeps getting stronger and stronger. How much of a grind is that Liberty League schedule? Because four games every weekend four game sets and and just the 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 amount of pitching needed to even get through the schedule nevertheless be successful is is pretty uh pretty astounding yeah it's i mean every weekend is a grind by that fourth game uh both teams are just completely dead and it's it's just a fight for you know who can stay alive and who has more energy uh but it's it really takes a toll on you Jake, the Union College Athletic Administration is making a strong push to get you on the, the midseason Golden Spikes Award watch list, and that's awarded to the best player in college baseball. Now, it's only ever gone to somebody outside of Division One twice, and that would be Bryce Harper, or maybe one of the best players, or definitely one of the best players in the sport, and Alex Fernandez. Do you think you got a chance to get on that list and uh, maybe make some history? 
Uh, I hope so. I mean, it would definitely be an honor to, to make that that list. Jake Fishman, uh, Union College baseball player with us. Dutchman taking on University of Rochester this weekend. Uh, another long series ahead, Jake, and I'm sure you've got the ball in game one, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Jake, best of luck. Thanks for being with us. And uh, like I said, I used to coach over at HVCC, so I know uh, I know a little bit about Union. Tell Coach Mound I said hello. Yeah, I will. Thanks for having me.